the Gyro Growth Modulation System. The Gyro Growth Modulation System is a unique tether device used for guided growth and deformity correction. Specifications The implants are manufactured in medical grade stainless steel. The gyro is offered in lengths ranging from 16 to 32 millimeters. Screws are offered in 4.5 and 6 millimeter diameters with lengths ranging from 20 to 35 millimeters. The bicortical posts, comprised of a male and a female post, are offered in 4.5 and 6 families with assembly lengths ranging from 40 to 90 millimeters. Advantages The system allows treatment of angular deformities in all planes. The bicortical post assembly is specifically designed to treat limb length discrepancy. The low profile and flexible implant assembly allows contouring of the anatomy. Large inventory of gyro sizes is provided to accommodate patient anatomies. Angular correction principle. This procedure, also referred as temporary hemiepiphysiodesis or tension band plating, consists in placing a gyro on one side of the bone spanning the growth plate. As growth occurs, the implant is intended to prevent growth at the implantation site while allowing growth to occur on the opposite side. This has the effect of modulating growth to correct varus and valgus deformities of the patient. Angular correction technique 1. Pre-op planning, surgical approach, and epiphyseal preparation. After marking and dissecting the epiphyseal and metaphyseal screw locations above and below the growth plate, Prepare the screw hole with the appropriate guide wire and drill. 2. Placement of gyro and epiphyseal screw. Slide the desired gyro with the top marking face up along the guide wire. Insert the epiphyseal screw into the gyro. 3. Metaphyseal preparation. Tension the gyro with either the guide wire sleeve or the eccentric wire sleeve and insert the metaphyseal guide wire. 4. Metaphyseal screw. Drill the metaphyseal hole using the appropriate cannulated drill and insert the screw. 5. Final verification. Ensure proper seating of couplings over the bone surface, avoiding periosteal damage, and check screw final position before closing the incisions. Temporary epiphysiodesis principle. This procedure can also be referred as temporary growth arrest. The sliding posts are designed to create a cortex-to-cortex -cortex tethering system to constrain growth uniformly and reliably, which avoids asymmetrical growth seen in conventional tension band plating methods. Temporary epiphysiodesis technique. 1. Pre-op planning. Careful preoperative planning and radiological analysis should be used to define the magnitude of the limb length discrepancy and optimal time of treatment. 2. Surgical approach. Locate the physis and mark the skin above and below the growth plate. Posts must be inserted centered along the bone physis to avoid secondary deformities. Proceed with incision and approach. The technique can be done percutaneously or open. 3. Epiphyseal preparation. Insert the guide wire parallel to the growth plate until it exits the opposite cortex. Drill the epiphyseal bicortical channel over the guide wire. 4. Metaphyseal preparation. Position the parallel guide over the drill, perpendicular to the growth plate. Insert the metaphyseal guide wire into the bone cortex in the desired position. 5. Epiphyseal female post. Measure the length of the channel with the depth gauge. If the measurement falls between two lengths, round down to the nearest five to ensure proper threading into the cortex. In the example below, for a 63 mm measurement, a 60 mm post assembly is selected. Slide the desired gyro with the top marking face up along the two guide wires. Insert the epiphyseal female post into the gyro. 6. Gyro tensioning. Two options are available for this step. One, use the appropriate eccentric wire sleeve to insert the guide wire with an offset. Two, use the horseshoe guide. Refer to the surgical technique for details. Seven, metaphyseal female post. Prepare the metaphyseal channel. Measure the length of the channel with the depth gauge to select the metaphyseal post assembly length. Insert the metaphyseal female post. Eight, male posts. Advance both guide wires until they exit the skin on the distal side. 
make a skin incision spanning the guide wires and descent down to the periosteum to expose the bone. Slide the selected gyro over the guide wires with the top markings facing up. Insert both epiphyseal and metaphyseal male posts into the female posts. Ensure that the male post threads are properly engaged into the bone. Close both incisions. Follow up and removal. For both indications, follow-ups are recommended every two months to assess the correction of either the angle deformity or the limb length discrepancy and determine when to remove the implant. Once the desired growth modulation is achieved, the implants may be removed percutaneously. Disclaimer, this video is not intended to be a substitute to the surgical technique.